everybody, I'm back. I hope you liked our public service announcement, but it's the truth. You know what I mean? And we just want to stop the teenagers from catching HIV and it's ruining our futures. We don't need everybody dead in our future. That's real talk. But otherwise, Matt, I hope you liked the public service announcement from Hood to Hood Station. <laughs> it's Destiny's fault. She started it. She gave me the idea. I'm gullible sometimes like that. Sometimes. So what you doing ahead, Des? I aired her. You aired dry too? Yeah, I just shake my hands because if I do not. Okay. So, what are you doing over here? The beeping noise is my laptop. I'm sorry, y'all. Hi. Someone pop it. Hi, welcome back. So my sauce is cooking. Oh, I, if y'all didn't know, I'm making sauce. Make barbecue sauce with some turkey wings. We about to like smother that bitch on there real quick. <sighs> See, I hope mom can digest it because you know I believe in spicy food. I believe in spicy food. I'm a damn Mexican. Yeah, I said it, Trump. If you wanna send me away, bye, bitch. Just do, saying. Do, 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 do. Get in deep with it. Brr, like real shit. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> like, no. <clears throat> now, if you didn't know what I was making in my room, I put some secret ingredients just for me to know. It's like, I'm like, I'm like, so. Ancient Chinese secret! Now, I'm just saying, I put in. Now, I told mom that I don't like mustard, like, at all. Like, if people who like mustard is like spawns of Satan. I'm, I'm, I like mustard, motherfucker. Yeah, I see it. I don't here. eat ketchup. So, I'm going to surprise her and say this. I used it. Sure you did. Yeah. Did she, y'all? It was good as shit. <laughs> no, I don't like mustard by itself. That is for the Satan shit. That's why I asked got the hiccups for talking shit. Right on her show. I put... Right in the middle of the show, she got the hiccups. I put... Med- med- Fucking mustard and motherfucking sauce because I can. So it's onion, garlic. Uh, uh, I don't. I use ketchup. I a little bit of water. Uh, I don't use syrup. I'm not a syrup bitch. I don't like sweet shit, Jamar. So I don't like that sweet shit, Jamar. So check this out, Desi Love. So where's the fork? Let's see. Oh, like yeah, them her. turkey wings. Duh. Oh, okay. Bring my camera over here. I got you. Real Hi. Quick. I want y'all all to see it at the same time. Remember I said I like for my turkey meat to fall off the fork? That's the only time that you know they're tender is when you can actually do that. Do that. It's sliced right through the meat. They're not rubber. I could take the fork and peel the meat apart. Now, we're going to steal some of this stock, though. I am going to drain all of this. Dun, dun, dun. Wish me luck. But what I'm going to use so that we don't lose no food is a tight strainer if I could find it. Yeah, you cut me back. So I have this from Copper Shell. You see how small the great tuna strainer is? Nice big bucket strainer. This will catch all my meat and all my onions, which is the tricky part. So, I usually turn into a slick person and use two strainers. Alright. Big mix sauce is ready. Alright, now. But I'm going to use one strainer today. Excuse me, excuse me. No, no, it's cold, guys. What? Really? Yes, I am. A whole fucking asshole. So, yeah, sauce and mixed sauce, sauce Okay, good. I gotta go get me a cup, y'all. I need some of this broth. Suffering, suffragette.
clean up as you go along. You won't have a lot of stuff to bust out. First and foremost, <laughs> always have a clean kitchen rag. And even though y'all didn't see it, I washed my kitchen rags before I even cook. So they go in the wash like almost every day. I know that that's going to cost a lot in water, but water, germs, nah. Nah. Because remember, y'all, you still got to make the fried green beans. You still got to make the world's greatest, baby. Anyway. And I got this gravy recipe from Forest City, Arkansas. Hey. Yes. Home of the Razorback. Peaches. Good living. Quiet nights. Fucked up pay. But I loved it. I have to admit, I love living in Arkansas. So, I can't wait to go back to visit everybody. I got a friend down there. I got a lot of friends down there. But one, she's a fan. Marianne? Marianne Dutton and Trapper? Marianne! That's my Marianne. She's chilling. And you talking about somebody who speaks her mind? Woo! She works for me. She verbally. She works for me. I'll tell you about what your mama should have did with you. Yeah, some of that be right. I watch it back home. I don't. I literally been watching this movie the whole time. <laughs> yes, I drive them out real quick. That's out the way. There's no way you can strain turkey. Let me tell y'all some nasty shit. I seen the motherfucker saw they meat out in a dirty, soapy pot of water that was sitting from overnight. Mm, ew. And then was like, I'm about to cook that. You ain't doing it. I was like, for yourself, right? That wouldn't even make it. <laughs> they took, I said, throw out the chicken. They put it in a dirty sink full of dishes. You know what I mean? Like, once a page. Like, that was cool. Yeah, for you. Not for us normal motherfuckers. And you know what? I'll make this simple. We're not even going to use these. Because I need the broth. Sauce is ready. These that should taste like heaven. So, that's why we're waiting. We yeah. need to bust these studs in front of uh, Philadelphia. Yeah. Can you please get out all the baked pans that we need to put the turkey in? I think it's yeah. a good idea. Yeah. 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 Y'all remember Destiny is bad shit crazy, right? Yeah. Uh, what was that You were getting the rest of the baked pans from out of there. These? The muffin jar? No. These. How are you going to stick turkey in them? Really? Somebody needs a drink in their life. Yes, can you rinse them out? It's got flour in them by accident. I don't know Where? how that happened. I want y'all to know, I want to know where all the fuck this turkey is going in these little ass pots. But you need to wait. Thank you. That's all you need. Trust me. Two. If this falls on the budget. Three. Okay. There we go. Make a metal pizza. Oh shit. Okay. Teenagers. Every time. Every single time. I I'm decide. just faster. Ooh, this shit. I'm a man. I'm be a superhero. Yep. Wait, wait. Uh, we got three motherfucking. Oh, excuse me. Uh, Three motherfucking uh, uh, wings. I'm sorry. I like chicken, and chicken looks like turkey, and turkey looks like chicken, so that's just. I'm gonna leave the kitchen.
Oh, she thought I was going to hit her with it, y'all. I wasn't. <laughs> she just tripping as usual. So, now, I'm we're going to save the first pot of broth. The hair first ringing, pot the splash ringing, the red ringing. Okay, I got you a little brush here, Des. Hey, you get all these. I'm so fancy. So now, we're adding a turkey from the pot. Oh, please. Directly to the pants. And we're not missing an onion. We're a piece like of garlic. Don't you? I should love you more, right? There she go. I know she's making heaven. So the barbecue sauce can crisp the skin. Most people, y'all don't let the barbecue sauce cook in long enough. So you put your oven on 350 as opposed to 400. That cooks it too fast, burns it at the top. You want it to soak into the skin like a perfect merge. And that's what Destiny is doing now, painting them on there. Now I got my two cups, four cups of broth. I'm going to show y'all some of the extra hood fly shit. So one, I got me a pot right here, and I'm old school with mine. So we're going to take this pot, excuse me, Destiny. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Go ahead, do your thing. Do, do, do your thing. She's over here laying this sauce, like some tracks and shit. Yeah. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the rice, All right? Now, y'all know how they say every two cups of rice or what? Every four cups of water? Yep. 
Now, apparently, I can't find my other happy guy. Hold up, y'all. He's full of sugar. Yes, I can. Mm. As y'all, y'all can't see, I'm sitting here painting the masterpiece together. Together. Ooh, ooh, bang, bang. Something like something little, you know, get them taste buds ready. That looks good, Dad. Thank you, thank you. Let's like paint that. This is how this goes. Two cups of rice, four cups of liquid. So right here, as you see, I have four cups for both of y'all of that broth we were cooking in. We're going to pour that directly into the pan while it's still hot and got the onions in. So then I'm going to measure me out two full cups of rice. But, ladies and gentlemen, knowing that white rice huh, has asbestos on it, mm. eating acid asbestos, let me tell you what I do about that. Because you can't afford, when you live in the ghetto like we do, to just go and, everybody's not going to eat that. Because if you don't have it like that, you don't have it like that, and we don't have it like that. Mm -hmm. So I take it and I put it in my basket strainer right here. I'm going to turn y'all around to a little bit. Y'all still see what that's doing, right? So look. I pour it into my strainer. I get me some shearing, steaming hot water. Make sure you get it all out your cup. And I do the same thing with canned vegetables, too. And you can't see this. But what you do is you rinse it until the water rinses clear all the way through to the bottom. As long as the water is cloudy, that means you still got asbestos and stuff all over this rice. Or whatever it is they put on it to make it process. But while it's... And you don't take it. It's a good few minutes that I do it. It's like shampooing somebody's hair in a hair salon. That's what it reminds me of. So, Nick, you would love this. No. Okay. So now, the water's completely clear. You shake it loose, and you add it to that pot of broth we just had. Every last grain. And of course, you clean your basket out. Now, Destiny gonna tell you what she done did well, of course, I wash these dishes. Okay, so I'm sitting here layering the chicken, well, the turkey with the extra coating and layers of barbecue sauce. Making sure, like, I got the places I miss. If anything, because I don't know about other people, but I like my barbecue sauce covering the whole chicken, not just half, sorry, the whole thing. Right, right, right. Preach, sister. Like, Preach! Like, yeah, yeah. Right. You don't mind cooking for the station if everybody can show up. Right. And be all you know, the behind the scenes, we be real live. Mm -hmm. Now we got the boys here. We're going to ask them. Yeah, we are going to ask them. Hopefully, they're not being retarded and, you know, eat really weird and humorous. Like, I think the dude on Facebook, he in this food, and I didn't know what the fuck it was, but I didn't give a fuck. Some kind of nigga, gumbo? Yeah. Nigga made it look ungumbalous. Yeah, man. Some kind of gumbo. And he was fucking it up, too. He looked so nasty eating that shit. <laughs> now, you can leave sauce in the pan, but all my sauce goes on all my chicken. Every last drop. So, I don't know if y'all can see it, but I'm painting it until I get to the end of the window. Which is how we usually do it, because when you from the hood, no drop wasted. I hate it that I had to pull out, pour out half of that broth, which y'all see I captured some, mm -hmm. from a meal. Mm -hmm. But no drop wasted, man. We can't afford to be running around wasting food like we rich. Bro, shit. 
can't live like that. Like, I don't know how you can't humble yourself. Like, you, you see people every day struggling just to get what we have, and y'all still wasting. And it's like, and then they be like, well, it's other countries suffering. Well, your home is suffering. Your neighborhood is suffering. What, because you don't step out your side, your door? No, your stuff station? like kids you don't, don't affect you. No, it kids don't you eat too? stuff like oatmeal anymore they because don't. it's not hype. Because they got that fat ass food McDonald's. But then they wonder why we got a bunch of fat ass kids in the room. It's the unhappy meals, man. It's the unhappy meals. Now. I'm going to show y'all not the big thing, because I don't feel like hope picking it up, but I'm going to show you this one. Look at this right here. Right there. Right here. Look at this. Bam. Oh, I'm done cooking. I put the sauce on. I don't know. Does anybody else in the world like jalapenos? I like jalapenos. Oh, yeah. You will be able to see it. There you go. Y'all can see it. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Don't that look good? Y'all can see it. Y'all see it. Don't it look good? Mm. Now, that's when you mix home mom cooking and the other stuff. Mm. Mom cooking. Mom cooking, no joke. Jenny, ice and water? No, but I damn sure need some cold drink. Yeah. Okay, everybody. So, we are set. Right? Yeah. So we're going to turn the camera around because I'm going to make some magic right in front of your face. I'm a black mama. I could take a two piece of the biscuit and turn it to chicken and dumplings, and I don't even need all the fucking proper utensils to do it. Mm -hmm. I could take flour, water, and make dumplings in the milk. Can y'all see me? Yeah, that's me supposed to see me. All right. So in this pan here, I have turned my Copper Chef pan on, which y'all can't see. You can get this right. So, remember that broth we had? I'm going to take this four ounces of already meat stock broth, and I'm pour it in that pan, but not right now. I'll show you a little gravy trick, because I have from many and 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 many, many, many mistakes have fucked up some gravy. Mm. Preach! So now, I'm like a gravy perfectionist. Because I hate lumpy ass, nasty gravy. So while this pan is getting a little scorchy, which is how you want it. Hey, can y'all see me? Okay. Can you see me too? All right. This pan is getting a little scorchy. So you want to drop about one teaspoon of butter into that scorch. So, we add the scorch. You hear that, y'all? Let's fry it down a little bit. You want to take the rest of these onions that you have here. And do like this. Just drop them in there. All right? Is the oven still preheating there? The oven is definitely still preheating. Yeah. So the oven, you want it to get good and heated up before you even put it in. Because you need to let the sauce settle onto the skin. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right. Same thing with the small little round loaves of bread we're going to make. You got to let them rise. You know what I'm saying? And we're about to put them into roll form. I want to make a roll. And hook people up. So I make a roll? I've covered the rice <laughs> with the plate on some ghetto shit. Ain't nothing Y'all know how it is. I do have pot covers, but I'm actually using a plate for the oven, uh, for the stove as convenient. Because I don't have chopping boards and stuff like that. Need them, don't have them. Okay, so that's trash. And to let you know, I can step on my trash, John. So, we're going to fry that down. 
if y'all could smell it, y'all would be in love. So what you want to do to this fry down is you want to add, because it's light onion and light garlic, you don't want to overdo it. So you want to add a pinch of salt to the fry. See, it gives it a, sorry, Italian to me, gives it a lightweight fry. I think the see, see. <laughs> that garlic and that onion mixture, y'all all know what it smells like. <laughs> okay, so while that fries down a little bit, then you're going to take your turkey stock, which is nice and hot already, still, settled, it's settled, it's got that little on top, and you're going to slowly add it into your fries. Put all that turkey juice in there. And you're going to let this boil a little bit. Now, if you don't have different cups, you know, to work something in, I don't believe in messing up dishes. Let me show you what else you do. Now, while that is boiling, getting steaming hot, where's the flour? Uh, hold on, y'all. Oh, yeah. My cleaning ass, I picked it up and put it up. The reason why I'm running the hot water, y'all, because flour works best with tap, hot tap water on boiling liquid than it does. And most people are afraid of their flour clumping. So what you're trying to do is not use too much flour, as some people do. I'll show you a trick. You're great. Now, We had special technical difficulties. Yes, we did. The light bulb just blew from all the heat. Hold up, y'all. I still gotta make this. It's gotta go down. It's gotta go down. So what you're gonna do is season your flour first. See, I'm tired. So me, I love my lorries. I just love my lorries. The original, Hello. nothing like it. Okay. I got to have my black pepper. But what most people don't know is that your shit ain't shit without plain white salt. Mm -hmm. All right. So me, we're mixing this. Hot water. And you want to make it as about as thin because it's going to thicken up anyway. You want to make this about as thin as your broth you got rolling in here with the onions and the garlic. The trick to my gravy is a touch of milk. All this blended for about a few minutes. I'm blending. It gets all the lumps out of the gravy. Put your stirring spoon. Right now, I am boiling at a high capacity. So I'm going to add this in very slowly as I stir. I know y'all can't see me, and this is some bullshit, but I'm pouring it in every sl very slowly, and there's no extra flour at the bottom. So, now, the oh, trick to gravy... Oh, what? Go oh, tell John. The trick to gravy is still on. It's stirring. I can hear it. The oven? I can feel it too. No, mom, it went out. Look at you. We got technical difficulties with the oven. Right now, it's making a nice thick. Broth gravy. So the gravy is boiling down with garlic, fried onion, and already the broth that we had on the turkey wings. Okay. Now look. It's nice and light and thick. It's creamy. So, on top of what we already added, we're going to add black pepper. Right on top. Ooh, look, technical difficulties over with. Thank you. 
So we gave it we gave it a good amount of black pepper. We're going to give it a light coating of white salt. And that's the Lowry. All on top. Very light. It's one thing you don't want to do is over season it. So you're going to stir it in real good. And then you're going to let it cook up and thicken. Ooh. Meanwhile, your rice is over here getting done. Ooh. That what? looks good, ladies and gentlemen. If you can see me, yes, they can see you. Uh, <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yes, I'm a weirdo. I'm your fuck. The rice is coming out excellent with the turkey broth in it. But at this point, while it's still boiling down, you want to add just a little bit of white salt. No pepper, no nothing. You got a lot of spice in that. It's the one thing. And then you uncover the rice so it can dry out. Ooh, wrong salt. Ooh, wrong salt. As y'all can see. White rice. Oh, yeah. Black pepper. Just a drop. Oh, yeah. Remix. And pepper. Okay. What we got going on over here? Three spoons. Mm, that so, gravy looks excellent. Destiny, do you feel like opening up these three cans of store bought green beans and showing people how to rinse them off? It depends on if the uh, what type of can opener you have, ma'am. A manual. It's over there. It's red handed. Yeah. I don't like that automated shit. Mm hmm. Oh, man. <laughs> and my gravy has no longer stay. Ah, she got to spray. My hands can spy and shake my gravy. I usually sing when I cook. That did not have enough in there. So I'm gonna get my gravy spoon and see if I can mix this gravy real good. One of these got that three holes in them. You wanna pull? There it go. All right. That gravy is done. So you put that on the back burner because you want it to settle and get thick. Ew. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to scorch another pan and have us some fried green beans. Stop telling me he entered our secret, Sean. Okay. Destiny? Wait. Let me wash my hands. Uh, we're filming. I'm going to get you know not to play around in my kitchen. Get some water. Yeah, right. Two. What are you dying? No, came for a cigarette. Oh, she's dying. It's my big old boy. Oh, then you suck. Bye. Oh, guess what? No, you ain't had my cigarette. I hit you say that. Yes, ma'am. Yes, you can. Can I get some more green beans? So look, I got the green beans, and here we are. Green beans, green beans, green beans. And we had already soaked the cans till the labels come off because they pour rat poison on the can. Now, that is not water that the green beans are sitting in. That is a preservative. A canned vegetables are the only vegetables that you can open up a can and eat out raw and they're already cooked. So whatever the preservative they got sitting on there already cooks them. 
What you have to do is literally, like he did with the rice, rinse that preservative away. And it's, it's, it's not healthy. No, it's not. Whatever they're feeding us in these canned vegetables are not healthy. And most of us can't afford or don't know how to prepare fresh vegetables. So when you got canned vegetables, you still have to wash them off just like they're fresh vegetables. Now, in this recipe, it's best to use French cut green beans. Look at that. Look, they already washed most of it off. Look. Mm. See the color they turned because I washed most of that away? Mm -hmm. They start to look like a little bit like green beans, ain't they? Mm -hmm. You give them a shower too. And shake them clean until the water's clear and not green. Watch yourself. Show me what you're I do. Shake a cap and a half full of oil. Ooh, ooh. Pop. Ooh, ooh, ooh. That's what the popping is good. Huh. Then we pop. I get that burn. Okay. So, as usual, I'm a purist, you ladies and gentlemen. My destiny is geeking out in front of the camera. You know, she's not so camera shy like when we first started out. She would say three words as long as we had the camera rolling. But now you can't shut her the fuck up. She's got an opinion. Yes, I'm very opinionated. So these motherfuckers fuck. So, you see how they cook now? Most y'all don't know. That if you cook your seasoning in a pan, it season these whack ass vegetables better. Now, what you should not do is really boil canned vegetables, but some people don't have any other choice. You can really just heat them up. Okay? That's the fucked up part. See? You need your spatula. So, you're going to melt this butter with the oil. Inside that, you're gonna add. This is something new to me, so I'm learning. Straight up garlic. Garlic, really? Yes. And I need you to slice me an onion. Okay. Now, after you scorch your pan, you're gonna turn it down to the lowest possible. Uh, uh. So everything cooks like a stir fry. Right there. Okay. Hey, y'all, just in case y'all can't see on camera, Destiny's got a big old tuck. It just gets in the way. Here, I was ready. Slice the damn onion, Anna I, I'm not keen on Anna slice the onion, Anna Mae. I need this motherfucking Destiny motherfucking thing in the Slice the onion, Anna Mae. Mm -hmm. You want the whole thing? Yes, sweetie. So, right now, I am peeling, whether you can see me or not, pieces of garlic. The garlic I didn't smack all over the counter. The garlic I think Destiny saved for too long. Where is the knife? I'm sorry, y'all. I lost the knife. Oh, there's a pin. There's a pin. Are you scared of big knives, Destiny? <laughs> no, I just get really dangerous with it. Uh, Destiny, I'll fight back. Not you. <laughs> You're weird. <laughs> you said you get dangerous with knives. Don't that sound dangerous to y'all? Not towards the people I'm around. Not if I like you. I can't see how. I can't wait to see how everybody's gonna like this. So what you're doing is you're putting your spices, whatever you like to season your green beans with. I like garlic and onion. As y'all see, I brought everything with garlic and onion. Onion uh, cleanses your blood. And garlic is healthy for your heart, hair, bowels, eyes, nose, teeth. Yeah, it stinks like shit, but, you know, that's how people you know outlive our ass. <laughs> the garlic is an essential part of this recipe because you're frying the green beans. And you want to set the flavor. But see, in order to set the flavor, you have to set the flavor in the oil first. Mm -hmm. Okay? The flavor, you can put it on top of the green beans all you want to. It just does not do anything for the flavor. So, I got a little tricky trick for y'all. I use Old Bay seasoning. And you put that right in the oil. Like, 
I just did like 10 shakes, eight shakes. It's up to you. And you put a little pepper on top of the Old Bay. You do not need salt on top of Old Bay seasoning. No, you do not. It's a salt in it's so. Thank you. Say it again. It's a salt in it's soap. So you're going to fry that garlic and that Old Bay seasoning and that little bit of pepper to give it a little bit of spice in together. And your butter is going to brown the garlic. And Destiny is over here slicing his onion. Like her name, Sealy. I'm going to take a break, you guys, and I'll be back with the results.